The slug curls in from about 180 yards, lands right on top of the goose's head, and take a look at this. We start to see a bunch of splashes all around, and these are clearly caused by something traveling at high speed, most likely fragments of the slug. And behind that, we get whatever's remaining of the slug continuing on and skimming on the water surface all the way to the back of the dam. And this is the next crazy thing we see. The slug also strikes the head, but it seems to hold together a little bit better. Look at this though, we can actually see the slug here and track it. Look at how it literally curves in the air and changes its course. To me this is an indication that it is badly deformed and that the airflow around it is causing it to veer off, sort of like a cricket ball or a baseball if you give it some swing. 